Welcome to the series of interview questions in Python. So uh, today we will be seeing yet another important question. What is the difference between is and double equal to in Python? As you all know, both are used for uh, checking whether uh, two objects are two objects are equal. Just to find out the equality between them, these are used. And but in what places we have to use is and what places we should use double equal to. Okay, that's the thing we want to understand here. So uh, regarding this, I read in one book where they compared two cats, okay, two cats with similar features which are uh, looking similar to uh, each other. If we are saying is, it means that both cats are equal. Okay, just because two cats are looking uh, similar to each other, we cannot say one cat is another cat because they are two different cats, right? So, ease is saying that two objects are same. Okay, it may be two cats or two dogs. So, uh, you have to understand. Double equal to is saying that maybe the features of them are same. Okay, this is the comparison between both of them. Ease is saying one cat is another cat and e double equal to is saying like the features of both of the objects are similar okay understand let's go in deep with this so first let's see is operator so where and all we can use is operator it can be only used in case of none okay the none is the only place where it can be used. It cannot be used for comparing int, string or anything else because all are objects in case of Python. So they are not value types. So you cannot use is operator for any thing other than none. Okay. If you compare the int, int objects, the int objects can is different for one into object for one is different from into object for 257 because these all are objects each objects are unique okay so you cannot use is operator for anything other than none but for none why you can use it is how many times you create none none will always point to the same object okay Maybe you put A equal to none, C equal to none, D equal to none. All nuns refers to the same object. That's the reason why you can use none for, uh, you can use is operator for none. Let me show you. Let me open a Python ID. So maybe I will put A equal to none first. Okay. And uh, afterwards I will put C equal to none. Okay. Okay, and uh, A is C is true, and A equal to C is also true. Okay, because let's see the memory location. The memory location in case of uh, Python, you can use ID. Okay, ID of A, you see, ID of C also you see. Okay. So you can see both the memory location is same, same, uh, it is referring to the same memory location. So it is means that none always, how many times you create none, it will refer to the same memory location, same memory. So none gets allocated the same memory for uh, how many ever you create. So that's the reason you can use none for is operator but you can you should not use it for anything else because let me uh, open another thing b this is not clear i will open another python okay let me create a integer now okay num1 okay maybe uh, 11 one, one. num2 equal to 1 1 if you put id of num1 
and id of num2 how come both are same i told you right for int it it is supposed to be uh, different right every time you create a number the memory location is supposed to be different this is happening because because of the python optimization memory optimization where it it is trying to save the memories okay for minus 5 to 256 the python uh, what they are doing is minus 5 to 256 th uh, since they think that is the most uh, used numbers for this alone they try to reuse the memory okay so that's the reason why both num1 and num2 are same here so in this case num1 is num2 will be same okay but when you cross 256 this will be different now let uh, let me show you put num1 has 257 num2 has 257 Now you compare the memory location. ID of num1, ID of num2. See, now it is different. You understand? So don't rely. Maybe uh, you just try to put it and try to see whether now ease is working. Uh, okay, now I can try to use ease for a uh, integer. Don't do that way because we cannot rely on this behavior it is just a memory optimization so it is always good to avoid ease for anything other than none okay now if you put num1 equal to num2 ease num2 you will get it as false right because both both are referring to different memory locations okay so that's the reason why i am saying always is should be used only for none okay not for any other objects not any other things because because other all our objects in python not for anything else don't use is okay now let's move on to our next thing equal to okay so it refers to the same object is means easiness okay which refers to the same object you can think it of two cats okay you can never say one cat is another cat just because the features are same okay double equal to can be used for comparing anything dictionary uh, uh, tuple list int uh, any iterables or any other objects it can be used all built-in objects you can use uh, double equal to operator okay because if uh, if i whatever i did right now i can compare it with num1 equal to num2 num1 equal to num2 so it will come as true okay you see so for uh, even the list you can compare maybe i am not sure whether you are able to see this okay list also you can compare 1 2 comma 3 equal to equal to 1 2 3 okay so anything else you can use double equal to okay <clears throat> and this is working for all built-in types because built-in data types because they would have implemented the equal method in their objects that's why it is able to compare two different objects and find the values able to uh, compare the values associated with the objects because the equal method is implemented in those methods if you go inside and see all the data types built-in data types you would have you you can see the equal method implemented which says how to compare these two objects but in case if you are writing your own class 
and you try to compare the objects two objects of that class then the python will not be able to do that because it does not know how to compare the two objects of your custom class so in that case you have to implement the equal method yourselves okay just i have a code written for this i have a class abc method here okay class abc okay so i just using the online python interpreter so here i have a class abc i just have a variable var and here you can see i am i am uh, you uh, written the equal method myself to say that if the two var of that objects are same then you say that it is true two objects are true if you don't have this okay and if you run this it will be always false because it does not know how to compare the two objects i am just creating two objects here and just comparing the two objects the python will not know how to compare so the always the answer will be false so to to properly compare the objects of your class just write the equal to method equal this is a called as dunder method or magical methods so write equal to with w uh, double underscores in front and after and you can tell it how to compare the two objects of your class maybe you have a one more variable also attribute also you can also put that and compare okay fine and i hope uh, you understand now the answer will be true because the var variables of these two objects are same okay hope uh, you understand uh, what is is and double equal to operator in python and how to, when and where to use them okay thank you guys have a nice day